Hi guys, thank you so much for joining me. You know, I've been thinking about what type of videos to do on my channel and I really enjoy more of the chatty and the vlogs and stuff like that. So I'm kind of like going to probably do more vlog style videos as spring and summer kick in and perhaps Jay and I will be out more exploring, camping and stuff like that. And, and then just talk about products when I have something to talk about, basically, and not really think about, oh, I get, you know, what am I going to talk about, you know, and hunt for something. I don't want to do that. So hopefully you don't mind. Let me know below if you guys like sort of the vloggy style where I share some of my adventures, at least in the summer. Um, and if you like the chitty chatty combo as well, because this will be a chitty chatty, but it will also be a product um, take a look at a product review uh, and the one and I'll and I'll mention the product right off because I really don't feel that good skincare needs to be expensive I really don't so if you're curious stay tuned oh my goodness so thank you thank you so much so I had, you know, I, I've mentioned many a times in the past that I belong to the Octoly Network and I've been kind of burnt out on Octoly. I go on there, I don't see anything exciting. You know, every now and then I'll, I'll try for a product. A lot of times I get rejected because I'm not a big enough channel or whatever, or I'm not young enough or something of that nature. So I still always look, you know, I'll go on and I'll look and they'll send me messages. Oh, we miss you, Monica, right? Baloney, they don't even know exist really. But I go on and I look, and I was really super surprised when all of a sudden I saw some products from The Ordinary. And I have been buying products from The Ordinary for quite a while, and I was really thrilled when all of a sudden I could find The Ordinary products in Ulta, which is, I have like so many Ultas near me. Ulta is the easiest store for me to get to, where Sephora is more online for me. But, you know, in my work world, I have Ultas near all of my offices that I visit. And so, anyway, so I saw that they had the ordinary products, but they had was the salicylic acid mask, which I believe is sort of fairly new. So I was looking at it and reading a couple of reviews and read and thinking about the product. And I have had for quite a while now sort of re been really working on my pores on my nose. They really, I always say, I have, an, I have a really old nose. It's big pores. So, and many times it's congested. It doesn't seem to matter what I use for exfoliation. It doesn't seem to matter how I do my Retin-A. The pores, you know, seem to always be an issue with me. So I've tried many different things and I, I do use the ordinary niacinamide on my nose. And I think that helps somewhat because I can tell the difference when I stop using the product, how bad my pores get. And, and there's multiple different products that I use for exfoliation and all that. And I also have glycolic acid that I buy from The Ordinary. And I've used the glycolic acid many times. But I was really curious about the, the salicylic acid. And I know the mask is, at least from me, I've never tried it. I've never really seen it before. So that's fairly new. And I know that the salicylic acid 2% solution is not new. So I said, well... Let me see if they'll accept me. So I got both of these products complimentary from The Ordinary via the Octoly Network so that I could take a look at them and kind of share my thoughts with you all. And, um, you know, The Ordinary, so, I mean, to me, it's like super affordable and they have a huge line. And sometimes it can be confusing, I know, to think about the layering aspect of it. It is for me anyways. But they have products for everybody. And I sometimes think that, at least me, you know, we kind of chase the latest and greatest at times when we think, oh my gosh, this is going to really be awesome. But The Ordinary has been one of those lines that has really never let me down. They're affordable. They're, they're there. Um, you know, they're easy to get and more, you know, they're good products, you know. So I ordered this. I have only used the mask twice. And I've used it at night, not on my Retin-A night. So you, you have to kind of like think about your products as to what you use 
with other products. Now, maybe this will be perfectly fine on a Retin-A night. I really don't know. I need to figure that out. But I'll do after I wash and do all my skin care, not my skin care, after I wash and, and dry my skin, I put this on. And the interesting thing about it is that it comes out brown. So you can see it, right? It's like this big brown. So, and you do have to, I will say, you do have to squeeze this to get it out. But, and then I put a very little bit on my nose, and then I went up into my, you know, my forehead area, a little bit more on my chin. I avoided anything around my eyes or anything of that nature, and my cheeks, I really didn't feel like, I don't really have a lot of, you know, congested type pores there. So I put that on, and they say do a patch test, which I did a patch test, and didn't have any kind of reaction. So I put it on my face, and I let it sit on my face for 10 minutes. And then I washed it off with warm water and got it all off. And uh, my skin felt really nice. Um, did I see in the short time I've used it a shrinking of my pores? No, but I did feel my pores look cleaner. So I do think that it, it helped clean or, you know, or um, what's a nice word for getting some of the congestion out? I still have pores. So I did think that my pores looked clean, er, and so I like that. So I'm gonna keep using it and I will definitely report back, but if this actually does work on my pores, I'm gonna be dancing a jig because my pores have been like an issue. And again, like I said, I've used lots of different products geared to that. And I always have congested pores, no matter how clean my skin is, no matter how I exfoliate. My pores just seem to be congested. My nose is also the area of my face that is the most oiliest. So also sent to me was the, um, the, the ordinary, this one I mentioned, the solution. This is the drop. So I have not used this yet, yet. I just got these about a week ago. So this one I have not tapped um, tackled yet, but this one I have because I thought this would be a greater thing. So I'm going to figure out my layering on these two and I'll let you know how I use them. I'll definitely report back. Again, those were sent to me complimentary from the Oculi Network. And like I said, I have a ton of ordinary products. I have their buffet. You can see I have my little B on here. I have their, this is their niacinamide. My N is disappearing because I have to label them like that. And then this is my buffet with copper peptides, which I really like. And then I have marula oil, which I've used for a long time. It's getting low. So I do have, and squalene oil, um, I do have a lot of ordinary products. So I was super thrilled to see that Octoly was carrying some of them. And of course, I love the fact that I could get them at Ulta, which makes it super easy. So I'll report back on that. Another thing I did this week. I ended up buying the Maybelline, the Ulta Lip Crayons, a couple of weeks ago. I wanted to see, they say this stays on, it's like a stain on your lips. I wanted to see if I could make it work for eight hours. I'm really fussy on my lip colors. As some of you know, I don't like anything too dark. So my favorite colors that I buy, some of them are Maybelline, Revlon, you know, I'm not fussy on brands and some of them I, I get online as well. But I just want to be able to go into the drugstore and buy something that I, if I'm out running low or I see a color. And I was intrigued by the eight hour claim, which I bought these two. I will list the colors that I bought and this one I can wear, the lighter one is more orange on my lips, which is more, it's supposed to be more of a nude color, but on mine it is orange. I can't see it too, uh, I can't, yeah, and mine is orange. I'll list the colors below. And the other one is what I have on right now, but I have on, I have it on and I also have a gloss on top of it. I feel it's, it's on the darker side of my comfort zone. So when I wore this um, the first time, I, I thought both of these were too dark. I didn't like them. But I wore them without anything on it. I wanted to see if I could, if these could hold up for eight hours. On me, they lasted about, I think, I think two hours max. So, and then I had to reapply. So my lips must be freaky lips because 
pretty shades turn orange on me and look horrible and nothing lasts on me. I, I have I have to just reapply, reapply. So I'm not going to fall for the 8 hour or 7 hour or 24 hour claims because nothing ever lasts. But of course before I did I went into L'Oreal and I also looked at one of their lip stains, L'Oreal. And this one is called Outstanding and I thought this looked like it might be the right color. Well oh my gosh. On me, I'll put this on here. It may not look bad on my hand, but it did not look good on my lips. I was so, so bummed. Now I'm going to take this pretty one that I have on right now and put it on top. So this one is the Maybelline. This one is the L'Oreal. Now I'm going to take the Maybelline one that turned too orange on me and show you. I was really disappointed. It was really, I should have seen that this peachy color would be orange on me. And, and it was, you know. I, so I was really disappointed, A, in the color payoff. But even though I had a good chuckle, because I knew I really wasn't going to fall for that darn eight-hour claim, I did have a good chuckle on that. So anyways, that I have an itch to find, like I said, a drugstore lipstick that I can just walk in that might last a little bit longer. And I have, I have, I really like the lip crayon idea is because if you don't have a liner, you can, you have more of a fine point on them. You can line your lips if you want. Half the time I line my lips with my eyeshadow. So, um, you know, I'll put on my eyeshadow very thin. I'll sort of, I, I contour my lips, I guess is what I call it. I contour it. And most of the time when I contour, some people when they contour their lips, which is a completely different thought process than lip lining, I guess, um, sometimes they will actually put lip liners on top of the contour. I usually don't. I just do the contour and then I do whatever lip that I have. So my contour is my Viseat palette. The lightest purple is what my contour is. And then my lip is the, the Maybelline, the one in the middle. That's what I have on my lips. So I'm going to keep going on a hunt for that. I I don't know. I, I probably won't find the perfect color, at least not with my lips. And some people said, oh, put your foundation over your lips before you add your lipstick. And I do do that, but it, it doesn't really stop something from turning orange on me. We all have different skin. We all have different lips. My lips are a wackadoodle, I guess. So... Anyways, Mother's Day last week, I, I uploaded a video on Mother's Day, and we were heading out to go see my mother. I took, I hardly took any pictures. I did take a picture of my son and my mother on her doorstep, so I'll superimpose that here. And we went down there, my sister and her husband, my son came, my other son couldn't come because they were all sick. My sister's daughters, none of them could make it because they had sickness uh, issues as well. So it was, it was, it was low key. We all brought food. Mom didn't have to do anything. You know, my sister made a chicken cacciatore. I made a big salad. I made a coleslaw. I cut up some watermelon, bought some rolls, and then I bought a cake. Um, so we had everything, including drinks. We brought our own tonics. So mom didn't have to do anything. She could, we all brought her pl plants and flowers and stuff like that. But I, I just, you know, wanted to be with her on Mother's Day. So it was a lovely, lovely afternoon. Absolutely lovely afternoon. Really loved it. During the week, it was a super crazy week for me. I ended up moving my office, my physical office. I drive about 35 minutes to work when I go to one of the offices, the corporate office where I've always worked out of. And I've moved it to the Exeter office. Um which is about hmm, 20 minutes, Exeter, New Hampshire. I really like that area. I know I've shared different parts of Exeter because often I have worked out of the Exeter location. However, now I'm moving my office, so everything I need will be in the Exeter location. So if I'm not working from home, I'll work from Exeter. It does mean when I stop by my mother's after work that I have to go a little extra because it's not on the way, where from Londonderry, I could just stop on my way in Salem and then go home. But I moved the office locations. That was, you know, I think everyone should really move. <laughs> As a real estate agent, I always say that. Everyone should move because when you start to look at what you accumulate when you're moving, it, you realize how much you clutter up and have. So, anyways, 
did that during the week. Um, I still have it set up fully. My stuff is all there in Exeter. I'm waiting for the person who is in half of that office to vacate the stuff, the side that he does not use. It, anyways, that's what, that's what I'm doing. I have, I have, we have been working on a project here at home. My father had his machine shop. We live, we live in a really small home, but we have a big barn attached to our house. And my father had his machine shop out there since 1974. So my dad, I think, retired in 2004, something like that. And uh, my, my dad, very stodic German man, you know, very kind-hearted, but very firm and was a not a, a man that would want to waste money. So uh, someone who has a real habit of not wanting to waste money saves everything because you know you're going to use it again, right? Anyways, my dad, when he retired, literally, and a lot of people say I can't understand how he did this, but when he ended up retiring, he literally walked out of his shop, which is my barn, and only came back to visit us and every time he came back to visit us he would go out in the shop he's oh I'm gonna tackle all this stuff and he you know this and that but it never happened I love my dad um God rest you know God bless him rest his soul and all that I, I know he's with me every day in my life over what well, he's probably having a good chuckle of what we're doing but when my dad retired Jay and I did not want to touch the barn because we just didn't want to go out there and get rid of stuff do stuff because it was my dad but after my dad passed away, we slowly started to tackle, and it was astronomical. I mean, astronomical is a machine shop. He had old bridge ports. He had old comparison machines. He had boxes and boxes of steel and metal and all sorts and drill bits and drill bits and drill bits and boxes and boxes of machine shop books, uh, all sorts of stuff. It was like, it's like, it still is overwhelming to us. So anyways, we started, we, ha we had someone give us an estimate to help clean out. And um, and then we tried to get rid of the one big last machine, and we had some guy from another part of New Hampshire, and we offered it for free just to get rid of it. So we had a guy from another part of New Hampshire actually show up and take it out. We were amazed. It was him and his wife came, and it was a big, heavy. I think it was like about 800 pounds, and they were able to take it out. Anyways, he came, and he got a lot of the other stuff. Granted, he made money. He had the time. He filled up his truck. He sorted it. He made some money, and I'm thrilled he made some money because he saved us money because we got all sorts of quotes to get rid of it all that we would have had to pay. So long story short, yesterday, today is Sunday. You'll see this tonight, Sunday morning. Yesterday, Jay and I, we were doing a whole bunch of stuff and I had planned to get my mother and do a little dinner and then my mother wasn't going to come up and then Jay and I decided we were going to continue to work. And I just did one more thing and one more thing. Well, there was this shelf way in the back and it was this box. It was like height of my, my hands right now. And um, I'm 5'6", so it was, it was fairly high up off. But it was way in the back. It was a hard place to get it. So I pulled it out to the edge and I, did, I figured it was empty. It was, it was a funky box. Well, I picked it up and moved back and the bottom came out. And inside conservative estimate was about 50 pounds it might have been up to 70 we didn't weigh it but based on what we thought was a hunk a big solid block of steel and it just crashed down on my foot and I thankfully had sneakers on and I remember saying oh my gosh I think I broke my I couldn't I bent down I couldn't even lift it off of me Jay came running and he, I mean the position I was in and where it was was hard to get at but Jay came running he got it off me couldn't believe it went in the house and um, you know nothing I don't think anything is broken I can wiggle all my toes but I spent the rest of yesterday afternoon elevating with ice I like one of those um, blue wraps that you put ice inside of it and I had it on my foot and I elevated and elevated and oh my gosh I had, it was so painful but um, I think it's just badly bruised I can walk I'm standing right now although I'm starting to feel it from standing this long but I didn't break it and I just was like oh gosh what else is gonna happen <laughs> so I had planned initially this morning as Jay was golfing I had planned initially I was gonna get on my bike and go for a nice long bike ride and take pictures and then come back and put this together and share my bike ride with you. Mm -mm, didn't happen. 
So instead I'm sharing ordinary <laughs> and my lipstick fails, which, you know, what can I say? At least I tried. So other than that, um, everything is status quo here. Let me know what type of videos you think you might like. If you don't mind these, these chatty videos, combination vlogging, I just don't always want to stand here. I'd rather be out and about and show you, you know, stuff like that. Although right now with my foot, not going to happen. So anyways, thank you all so much for watching. Leave me a comment below. I hope you all had a wonderful week and I hope you all have a wonderful week to come and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.